so we oh almost hit people so we are off to baseball we have big brother has baseball in one town and he has baseball in another town so needless to say thankfully we have friends who can help out and these people if you do not move your butt I'm going to hit you it's like when you want to cross the street and you know someone's waiting you don't need to sit there and saunter go anyways so we're all decked out in our baseball gear he is in a travel league this year for the very first time he's very excited because his big brother is in a travel league too so it's a big time I didn't I didn't know how to play baseball from the coaches I learned from my two brothers that play that's right can you sit back please Yes, and buck your seatbelt. I always have to remind you to buck your seatbelt. I'm not really sure why you can't do it. You don't remember. I know. I keep on forgetting. I know, but it's important that you put your seatbelt on. So we're on our way to a scrimmage. which we're, So we're scrimmaging the other travel team that's in our town. Same age group. And then we have our first game this weekend. So it's going to be a busy, busy week of baseball because my husband's away. So I'm in charge of getting the kids to baseball and it's we have a tournament this weekend for my older son. We have final semifinals and final finals for another league. I mean, this is the league that goes to the World Series and they're like the team to be in our in our region right now. So who knows? Maybe I'll be vlogging from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. D things have had, you know, whatever. So yeah, so anything else we have to say? I don't think so. Not really. That's what's going on right now. Alrighty. Oh, and we do we took all the change. This was big. We took all the change out of your out of his piggy bank. And my two wallets. And your two wallets to get enough money for the game. And how much money did you get from change? Sixty dollars. Sick I didn't think it was that much. I honestly, but there was like 148 quarters and I couldn't believe it. So he got $60. So he got two games at GameStop with a little help from me. So he was very excited. Um, I want to, I want, can I tell them what games we got? Sure. What games did you get? So we got, if you, if you guys know MLB. No, you got MLB. No, you got MLB 2K13. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep. If you if you know MLB 2K13, we've got that. Yeah, and what's the other one? I forget what it's called. Mario it? Sports Mix. Yeah, Mario Sports Mix. So it has all different sports for Mario. Basketball, hockey, yep. dodgeball, volleyball. That's cool. So yeah. Yep. So, yep. So, that was our day today. Today. So, I'm about ready to do my hair, and I'm going to post, I'm going to put the video, not a video, I took a picture of my hair like before, where it's like frizz. This is my, doing my hair like a boss. It's got my hair up in sections. I just look sexy. Sometimes I feel like I should go out like this. You are digging my uh, Toy Story shower curtain? Yep. We don't do any fancy things up in here, okay? Kids rule the world. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna do something different. Instead of taking my curling iron and like curling it, I'm actually gonna like, cause I find, and maybe this is just me, but I find that I feel weird talking with my hair looking like this. I find that when I use a flat iron, I, and maybe I need to get a, a better flat iron. If you know of a really good one that's not, $500 because there's one I would love to have but it's like $300. There's no way I'm spending that much money on a flat iron. I feel like it flattens it but then it makes it kind of frizzy like it just it doesn't give that nice shine fit. but when I, but when I curl my hair I feel like my curling iron flattens it better but instead of me like using it vertically and curling it I'm going to use it down and just curl the ends so it kind of has like a wisp thing. I've never done that before I'm going to try it but I feel like my curling iron I reach for my curling iron for everything because even if I do curl it my hair is so thick and heavy it doesn't hold the curl like it eventually flattens out but I still have the nice flat hair straight hair it's hard to explain like even my flat iron like I don't love the outcome of it and it's an old flat iron so maybe I need to get a new flat iron I'm not sure but anyways if you know go and let me know but I just want to show you the process like I look sexy right now 
and I did take a photo of my hair before I did I put it up. It was like frizzy from hell, so you guys can see. Update. Epic fail. Like, this is the problem with my hair. It's like, I mean, I guess it's, well, I think what I need to do is just curl it like I normally do, and then I can just brush it out. So, I mean, I guess that's okay. I don't know. We'll keep playing with it. Oh. All right, so this is the frustration of my hair. You see this side? It's like limp. And I curled it the same way. Limp. Boom. This side, Shirley Temple. Like, I just, I just can't with my hair. I just can't. I just, like, I don't know if I should recurl this. I'll try. <laughs> so... Here is the after. I should have taken a picture with my hair, like literally it was all in curls. Some of it had dropped, but it's okay if it drops because I wanna kinda like, I use my, I don't use a comb, I don't use a brush. I literally just take my hands and I just kinda do this. What bothers me is right here, it's still got that frizzy wave and it's like, it's driving me crazy. So, but yeah, I mean, this is it. I mean, it's not, hi hand, it's not like, you know, just walked out of the hairdresser, but it's enough for me to be like, okay, it looks decent. It actually doesn't right now. I, I gotta stop playing with it because I think I'm making it worse. But, um, yeah. So there you go. This right here is driving me bananas. But I do, it's, I put some hair, dry shampoo in my roots and move that through. And then I put, um, this is my holy grail. This BB thickening contour. Um, when my hairdresser does my hair, she puts this at the very end with your hair dry and you put it just a little bit on your fingers and then you just kind of run it through and it kind of smooths it out. It's, um, gets all the extra like frizzies out and stuff. I, now, and you don't need a lot. I've had this for probably six months maybe and this is all I've gone through. I mean, it's so good. It's called BB Thickening Cream Contour by Bumble and Bumble. Holy grail. With people who have frizzy thick hair like me, or even if you have like little wispies, mm, <laughs> so good. So good. Alrighty then. Okay, can we talk about the struggle being real? Like I was washing my brushes and I started sweating. So of course I put my hair up and now look at my hair. Like, I don't like my hair. I mean, I like it. I could be worse, but look at it. Ugh, whatever. I'm just so done. And of course, part of me wants to put make. Oh, hi, I want to see my dishes. Oh, part of me wants to put makeup on, but it's so flipping hot outside. It's just going to sweat off me. So half the time, I don't even wear makeup because it's like, this is me. This is what you get. Anyways, so I was, um, hold on. I got to turn my camera with the other hand and I'm like right-handed. So I was, I was holding it. But anyways, so... One thing I want to say is what's coming up on my channel is I'm getting closer to 1,000 subscribers, which I, I can't, I can't, I can't even believe it. I'm going to have the biggest giveaway ever. It's going to be two people because I, like I, like everyone knows, I have a very diverse channel. I have like a planner community and I have a beauty community. Um, and some of them, some planners are the beauty and whatever. So I'm going to do one prize is like an Erin Condren package. Um, it's going to be a planner. It's going to be extras. It's going to be goodies that then there's also gonna, on the beauty one. It's literally going to be like a box of just a ton of stuff like nail polish and setting spray and lip gloss and perfume and skincare and masks and like seriously, it's going to be awesome. And I just, I cannot wait to do it. I love doing giveaways because the fact that I'm even going to get to a thousand subscribers to me is like, what? Like, I'm just me. And it's just, and I want to make sure I spread the wealth or spread, you know what I mean? So not that there's wealth, no. But um, those are my two prizes. When I hit a thousand subscribers, that's going to be going on. I still, it's like, oh my God, there's still a little. Anyway, so yeah, so it's going to be awesome. I'm actually excited. I'm actually going to go shopping um, for some of the Erin Condren stuff, um, today, and, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll see what I can do, if you promise not to throw your clothes on the floor again. <laughs> I promise. Stay 
Staples. Staples. Going into Staples to get some Erin Condren stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. We're on a little adventure today. Because after we're going to get lunch, the beef will be for me. All this fun Aaron Condren stuff. Bless you. All right, so we went to the staples that carries Aaron Condren. We shipped an Aaron Condren box full of goodies for, um, I, if you watched my plan with me a couple weeks ago, I was selling my coil damaged planner. And so the person, that I, when I got my new planner, it didn't come with a cover, so I felt horrible. So I went to get a new cover and some other goodies. So we just shipped, and I put it in an Aaron Condren box that I got so she can get the whole effect. That's how I roll. Um, so then we went to sports store to get baseball pants for little man mm, and and a belt and now we are going to go to the mall and get something to eat i need to go to the mac store to get some prep and prime which is in the mall and then that's that got anything to say little no. man nope are you a little aggravated i'm tired yeah you're hungry too you get you're getting hangry Hunger and anger. Hmm. All right. Do you always used to look down? Sometimes. Why are you taking a video of me? Yes, because you're so cute. Mm. Okay, you can't like walk in front of me and then just stop. Batting number six, Pat Harrell. It's your first game, travel game. You're like the big time. Look at you, woo woo! Fine. Pose, pose, pose. You goofball. Walk on the lake today. It was sunny, but now it's gotten very, very cloudy. Sailboats are out. Can I put my hand in the water? Uh, no. Why? There's no way to get down there, honey. You'd fall in. Yeah, no, Karen, do you, would you listen? Watch. Watch. Stop. No. Cameron, I said no. Turn on the vlog. 